Da -da -na. Coroplast. She's hunting. Day 767. Georgie, don't don't get in our way. Real sticky, real quick. We are not getting anything, anything done. done. Who really cares at this point? I cannot wait for a rainy day. Today we are. It's a big day. Putting everything on the roof that belongs on the roof. We thought it would be a good idea to check to make sure our solar panels are actually working. They're functioning before we put them on the roof and put them in permanently. Cement them in. And we have light. You can't see it. Yeah. All right, they both work. Put them up. <laughs> <laughs> We're good. We're happy. Maybe set up your whole system beforehand, which is what Renogy suggests that you do, but we ain't doing that. After a bit of research on installing the flexible solar panels, we decided to go ahead and go with a plastic corrugated cardboard, but it's plastic underlay under the flexible panels to provide a little bit of an air gap so that the panel doesn't overheat with it being directly touching the metal. Apparently it's to reduce hot spots and allow a little bit more or better drainage of water if water ends up getting under there. So Jay is cutting the plastic to size. Materials, tools, extras needed for mounting solar panels on a van roof. Coroplast, solar panels, extender, two Y connectors, two 10 foot adapters, cable glands, marker, drill, bits, Rust-Oleum, rag, alcohol wipes, bolts, split washers, washers, nylon nuts, butyl tape, 3M tape, patch and seal tape, screwdriver, wrench, metal file, zip ties and mounts. Then go ahead and clean your van roof. Next, you want to lay down the coroplast for the layout of your van. Move on to marking out all of the gear. Jay and I have put on the plastic bit and the actual solar panels. We cover them with beach towels to lessen the charge of them or hopefully diminish it completely. And we're connecting all the cables now to figure out where we're gonna drill the holes for the cables to go into the van. Figuring out the wiring is super frustrating, especially doing it in the heat. So if you could do it while it's cool, you should do that. Now we're gonna take a dry erase marker. Da da na. Da -da. <laughs> and make all the holes for both the lights in the front and everywhere that we're bolting down the solar panels as well as where the wires are going in. Okay. Yeah. Clean up those metal shavings. You don't want any rust to form on your roof. Then file down the holes. Tentatively secure your panels, then go ahead and mark the remaining holes. Remove the panels, drill and file the holes. Rust-Oleum will treat them holes. Mark and drill holes in Coroplast. I don't know if this is a correct way of doing it, but this is what I'm doing and we're doing for our specific van build. I'm taking butyl tape and I'm gonna put it on the underside of this plastic. And because this plastic is polypropylene, it's a non-stick surface, but I wanna be able to still create some type of watertight barrier for where the screw is going into the van. The best way for us to do that is by using this kind of tape that sticks to everything, butyl tape, that is really good for watertight protection. She's hunting. Last night we did one panel. It's still not completely done. We have to add the waterproof tape around the edge and we think we're going to do something different. Add some more butyl tape or something to this back corner. The butyl tape is actually holding up really well so far. Obviously it's only been one night. But today we're gonna do the second solar panel and learn from all of our mistakes yesterday and do it correctly. So we'll film the actual process of our trial and error from solar panel one to what we think will be perfect for solar panel two. First things first is to wipe down with alcohol where we're gonna stick the tape so that it's a nice clean surface and we will be taping each of the corners where the screws are going in to create that waterproof seal. 
and then also taping a few strips on the actual plastic itself because the solar panel is actually sticking to the coroplast. When it's hot, keep your butyl tape inside and get what you need when you need it. After doing one side of the plastic, you flip the whole thing over and do the other side before sticking the solar panel on it because you don't want to flip the solar panel upside down and be putting pressure on it upside down. All butyl taped up. Time to put this bad boy on her. Georgie, don't don't get in her. Hi, baby. <laughs> I told you no. Yeah, go get it. You tell him you do what you want. This is exactly why we are not getting anything, anything done. done. So much easier doing it this way than on the roof. Now put the whole setup on your roof and peel off the paper backing. Now you can press the screw through the grommets into the butyl tape. Now we are securing them officially. This is definitely a two person job. Jay will be securing the top of the bolt, holding it with a regular Phillips on the top. Remember to always cover your panels with a thick towel or blanket. Go ahead and install your cable glands. Then you can go ahead and connect your solar panel cables, white connectors and extenders. Last night it got like too dark really for us to feel confident in doing what we were doing. Even though we had the lights on, we're just kind of tired and done. So we are now actually attaching all of the cords to the roof. The last step of the solar installation is using waterproof Gorilla Tape indoor-outdoor use, used for roofing, used for underwater to seal pool liners, like literally in the water. So this is what is going to go along the whole front. Jay's peel off the back liner. He's just peeling it off little by little, you can see as he's sticking it. The whole point of doing this is to have redundancy for protecting any type of moisture or rain from getting in underneath the bolt and preventing it from ever possibly like just seeping down through the actual bolt to come into the, the underside of the roof inside the van. This is just an extra precaution. Plus thieves won't know exactly what type of head, like if it's a Phillips mm. or it's also theft protection. It is a moment of truth. We are testing all of the bolts and holes that we've put in the roof of the van. Before we put in the insulation and do the ceiling, we want to make sure that none of them are leaking. So Jay is outside with a hose. I'm going to simulate rain, I suppose, and then we'll spray each one individually. Look at that, it's raining. Luckily not inside yet. I cannot wait for a rainy day in the van. Just the sound of it. Oh, I love it. We're good to go. We're so <laughs> Simulating a rainy day up there. It is so nerve wracking checking each one of these. Like, if one of them was leaking, I would be so sad. Making sure there's no leaks. And there's not. I literally cannot get a freaking smile off my face. I love <laughs> I freaking love being in the van. I love the rain in the van. This makes me so happy. Just that noise, that sound of just rain. We're gonna be chasing rain soon because I want that 